Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be trying these yummy and delicious, I'm assuming, gelato bites. Um, so these are sold at Target. Um, for those of you guys who do not know, I work at Target. Um, and I saw these the other day and I was like, oh my god, these look really, really good. Um, they have three different flavors. They have a chocolate volcano, cookies and cream, and they have a very berry one. Um, and I'm very excited to try these, but basically all of these are are little bits of ice cream um, dipped in either white chocolate or this one's regular chocolate, I believe. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to try these. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get right into these. These all are about 70-ish calories. This one's 70 calories. This one's 60 calories. This one's 50 calories. But that goes by the serving size, which is one individual bite. And I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm pretty sure they're not necessarily big because they fit 12 in this little box. Well, actually, those don't look bad. Yeah, they're just these little balls, and like I said, they have ice cream in them. Um, I went ahead and let mine defrost a little bit because I imagine I'm probably going to have to bite into these, and uh, I have sensitive teeth. Hold up. I was about to start with the cookies and cream one. I'm not going to start with the cookies and cream one because I already know I'm going to love that one, so I should start with one of the other ones first. So we're going to do chocolate volcano. Um, me personally, I'm not a big fan of chocolate flavored ice cream, so I'm not entirely sure I'm going to like this, but... Um, I thought I'd go ahead and give it a shot. And uh, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, the way that I do my little review videos, um, I will try one of each product, let you know my initial thoughts after trying it. And then at the end of the video, I will rank them all amongst each other and then give them all number ratings. Um, so yeah, so stick around to the end for that. But without any further ado, we're going to try this chocolate volcano little gelato bite. Alrighty, so... I'm not a big fan of chocolate ice cream, but I did think this was pretty good. This basically tasted a lot like a chocolate truffle, how it like melts in your mouth essentially, but it's like nice and cold and refreshing. Um, that was really good. The ice cream was super duper creamy. Well, the gelato, sorry, was super duper creamy and the filling, whatever it was, is really good. It says filled with chocktella, which to me, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like Nutella or something. Not entirely sure, but um, whatever the filling was, it was pretty good. The chocolate on the outside was pretty good. And uh, overall, they all messed. What? They all went together really good, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate ice cream, but I will say this, this is very, very good. Um, I really like the texture of that. Gelato is really freaking good. I don't think I've ever, hold up, I was about to say a lie. I was about to say, I don't think I've ever had gelato. I've had gelato maybe like twice in my whole life, something like that, so this is rare for me. Okay, um, so next one, I'm going to try this one that's a little bit more out there. Um, this one is Berry Berry. It's a mix of berries, and then once again, it's dipped in white chocolate. Yeah. Okay. So, my big thing is, man, looking at these from the outside, it kind of looks like this one would be red velvet flavored, and now I kind of wish they had a red velvet flavor, because that would probably be really good. Do they make red velvet ice cream? Somebody look that up. I want to know if red velvet ice cream is a thing that exists, because I want that right now. That sounds really good. Okay, anyways. Very, very... I don't know what to expect from this, because... I've never really had fruity ice cream before, so we're going to give it our best shot, I guess. Cheers. Bow. Okay, um, that one's also really good. Um, I'm not going to lie, the white chocolate, in my opinion, is like pretty damn good white chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of white chocolate, but that is pretty freaking great. Um, this kind of gives off the vibes of like fondue a little bit, um, if you were to get like a chocolate covered strawberry. But um, the berry that, to me, tastes the most prominent is definitely blueberry. It tastes a lot like blueberry and raspberry put together. Um, and what I like about it is, like, the berries are very sour and, like, very tart. But then the white chocolate is incredibly sweet. So they, like, balance each other out incredibly well. Um, I'm not going to lie. That, that's a very solid That's a very solid treat. And I really like that. And I feel a little bit better about myself because that one's 50 calories. And I'm pretty sure if I was to look at the nutrition facts, the added sugars in this is probably a little bit less than the other ones. Yeah, this one's two added sugars and then we're gonna actually check all those because we're just curious this one's four no this one's also two added sugars is that one also two added sugars no that one, hold up that one's even less added sugars what the hell okay they're all five grams of sugars but um the chocolate one and the fruity one are both two grams of added sugar this one only has one gram of added sugar but this one's also the most calories i'm so confused i don't know what any of these nutrition facts mean i just kind of like read them because i like to know you know anyways this one's the one i have the highest hopes for um it's cookies and cream and then it's filled with chocolate as well so hopefully it kind of tastes like a cookies and cream little truffle here 
Um, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try this one as well. Cheers. Already, I'm not gonna lie with that one, I'm a little disappointed. That one, in my opinion, the texture was the worst out of all of them. The flavor obviously was pretty decent because it's just plain vanilla gelato with um, little bits of cookie pieces in there. But um, something about that one was just not as great. The texture to me kind of felt more like shaved ice than a nice smooth gelato like this was really nice and smooth when you bit into it, basically melted in your mouth. And this one also, the texture was like literally phenomenal. It felt so soft and natural and um, really, really like nice and soft. Um, that one did not have as good of a texture. So I'm not going to lie. That one's going to chip it a little bit of points. Um, so overall, if I had to rank these, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think that the chocolate one was the best. This literally tastes like a delicious chocolate chocolate. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, coming in at number two, very slightly behind it is this. This is just really interesting. It's a very fruity vibe. I really like it. And, uh, I said fruity vibe. I meant it's a very summery vibe. But, like that definitely feels like a summer treat to me. And I really, really like it. Like I said, that one has a great balance of sour and sweet. And I think it worked incredibly well. And this one, the texture really threw me off so much that I'm not as huge of a fan of it. Um, and then the chocolatey inside was like very lackluster. Like it was like barely even there. And uh, it wasn't as prominent as it was in this one. In my opinion, this one did it a lot better. So um, overall, I'm going to go ahead and say, I think that the cookies and cream one is the worst. And I'm going to go ahead and give that one a rating of 7.9. It's still really sweet. It's very delicious. I could definitely see myself enjoying the rest of this pack. But um, that being said, if I'm buying these again, this is definitely not the flavor I'm getting. Um, this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid 8.4. I think it's really interesting. It's unique. Um, but if you're not a big fan of that sour fruit, you're probably not going to enjoy this as much as I did. Um, I thought that it was really good. Like I said, the balance of it was really good. And I really like the mixing of it. And um, this one, the chocolate one, I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid 9.4. I thought this was phenomenal. I'm not a huge fan of chocolate ice cream, but this kind of made me a fan of chocolate ice cream, and I really, really liked it. Definitely would recommend going out and trying these for yourself, though. Obviously, don't take my opinions and rating kings to heart. If you see these and you saw them and you're like, oh my god, that sounds really good. I want to go try it. Definitely would recommend it. Like I said, I saw it at Target. You might be able to find it in other places. But uh, yeah, so that was it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bow, bow, bow.